Hi, I'm Captain Carl. And I'm Chef Nikki. Welcome aboard G2. Uh, 2017 Fountain Pajot Saba 50. Uh, very accommodating charter vessel. I think at this point they've really gotten them right. Uh, it's a great layout. Uh, Fountain Pajot has done a really good job utilizing every cubic inch of uh, a 50 by a 26 foot space. Um, lovely dining area. Uh, we can accommodate eight. We also have a teak folding chair that we can put on the end here for when we have up to eight people. Um, there's a big, nice big rumble seat in the back. Love seat here. Uh, this is if you want shade and um, or if it's raining, of course. If you come with me this way, we can make our way up to the foredeck. Also a great lounging spot. Very user-friendly boat. There's nice handholds for when we're underway. If you want to make your way up front while the boat's moving, it does get a little bumpy out there sometimes. So this is our very accommodating foredeck. You can see how there's these nice lounge cushions here. Uh, really fun spot to be when we're underway. People love, the more adventurous guests like to be up here when we're going to windward, getting splashed by big waves and stuff. These cushions are really nice. They ratchet down if you want to lay down and sunbathe. And then if you want to prop yourself up, they just ratchet right back up like that. When we're in nice, calm, comfy bays, we have a couple uh, really nice stand-up paddle boards. On pickup day, of course, we have a nice big open gate on our starboard side as well as a ladder. Boarding on and off at the dock, of course, is very easy. We like to make that nice and easy. Coming this way, one of our favorite exterior features is the Sky Lounge, or as I like to call it, the Happy Hour Tower or Sundowner Central. This is a great spot to hang out uh, during a sunset or uh, early. A lot of guests like to wake up real early and hang out up here before breakfast as well and enjoy a sunrise. And now we can make our way into the inside, and I'll hand it off to Chef Nikki. All right, guys. Welcome to the interior of G2. Come on in. <laughs> so we start off in our lovely, spacious salon here. Um, we do have a TV that has internet access right over here in the corner, um, if you so choose to watch videos while you're on vacation. The lovely galley which I do love. I spend most of my time over here. Um, very, very open. These doors slide open so the guests can be part of the cooking experience while they're on board. And if you come with me this way, we'll go check out the cabins. Of course, we can't miss the bar. <laughs> now, this is one of my favorite features of G2. It's a little bit different than a lot of other cat catamarans. We have this big, spacious master cabin. Every guest loves this. This is usually where whoever's celebrating a birthday will end up. Um, it does have a desk. If you feel like you have to do work while you're on vacation, we can accommodate that with our little desk area over here. And another great feature is all the storage on these Sabo 50s. There's storage everywhere over here. We have closets in every room. These all open up. We can, uh, we can store all of your stuff that way. Another lovely feature of the master cabin is this giant stand-up shower with the full door. It almost feels like home. Pretty nice. The heads are separate. They are freshwater heads. And each head on this boat has different sea creatures inside. So that's kind of a fun thing you can do is locate all the sea creatures in each one. This one has a sperm whale. <laughs> and then right this way, we have our second queen cabin. Now this one is identical to the one in the, in the forward peak on the starboard side. Each one of these beds has a giant storage space underneath. Plenty of room for all your stuff, ladies. And then the, the heads are all freshwater heads. I like to mention that. Um, so if you follow me, we'll head over to the other side of the boat and check out the other rooms. To my right is the crew cabin. Um, we're happy to move out of that 
out of that cabin and go into our lovely smaller cabin in the middle here. If we do have eight guests on board, that's what happens. But kids love this cabin. It's a little bit smaller, but it's kind of like a cubby hole or a little hideout for them. So kids always end up in there. It does have its own bathroom across the hall. It is a wet head. Um, and then there's a closet for storage for that room. And then again, this one mirrors the forward cabin on the other side of the boat. Storage under here, closet over here. And there's more sea creatures in this bathroom too, but they are different. So keep your eyes peeled for those. All right, well, that wraps it up for the tour of the interior of G2. Um, generally, more, more time is spent outside of the boat and in the water than on the inside, um, but it does feel like home in here. It, it, it's a great boat, so we hope to see you guys down here soon.